I'm already sick to my stomach. It's only Monday, but here we are trying to win the Brickyard 400, which is a very, very, very important race in the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. And unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore <laughs> in real life, which does bring a little tear to my eye. Guys, in the comments down below, with the new car, do you think the Brickyard 400 would be a decent race? I actually think it will. I don't think the Brickyard 400 would ever be a great race. But bringing ba back the, the, the crown jewel of the Brickyard 400 with the gen the next gen car, I'm just saying. It, it obviously, when you when you went lower horsepower, it was terrible, but it just came to my mind. I mean, I, I would bring it back. I would 100% bring it back and see what the new car does with it. And even if it's not the best race ever, it's still a crown jewel event um, as the Brickyard 400. And uh, that's just my opinion. I might make a separate video on that and try to, to uh, lobby for it because I think it should come back. Shout out to all the Patreon members for always supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. You know it. Uh, thank you for uh, wishing me uh, the best for my mental health. But my mental and physical health for the next five days will be an absolute wreck. And uh, I'll just have to survive, you know, endure and survive. There's nothing that will help. Um, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. So there is nothing I can do to cope with it. I just have to live and endure and survive. Um, I will be running the red paint scheme today um, for obviously Arsenal Football Club. I will not be able to uh, run white. We have changed the yellow, li uh, the lines from white to yellow. Uh, I probably should change the number from white as well because white is just not something we're going to be doing right now. So guess what? I have to change um, the roof outer. We're gonna have to change that to yellow. And then the uh, side inner, we're gonna have to change that as well. I'm sorry, we cannot be running white at this moment. Uh, I would like to run yellow, but that puts yellow on yellow, and I don't think that would be very nice. Uh, is, is is there like another thing I can run other than yellow? I mean, it, nothing else really matches. I don't, yeah, we'll just run yellow. As we head to the Brickyard 400, we uh, are on a hot streak in terms of consistent finishes. But uh, it has not changed our standings right now. We actually have fallen a spot down to sixth. Uh, we are about around 30 points behind uh, fourth and only around 42 points behind third. So um, it's not out of the realm of possibilities that we actually do have a very strong end to this season. But the Brickyard 400, while I, I do want to win, guys, let's uh, get into the race weekend. There's nothing to do in the chassis and the engine and the body because everything is being either being built or being repaired or overhauled. There's nothing we can do, which means we will be running a slightly weaker car. Um, it is going to be chassis number eight, which is still good. It is a 72 tire grip with a 71 tire wear. So it's not bad. It is good. I don't want to downplay it. The engine is where we're going to struggle a little bit. Normally, our horsepower if we use engine number seven would be, you know, 70, 72, 73, somewhere around there. We have this engine being built, which is going to be pretty powerful. It's been being built for a very long time. I think this, this engine will have around 75 power. So unfortunately that is not ready and uh, it won't be ready for a little bit, but uh, we are currently gonna have to figure out a way with 68 power and 59 efficiency to do something at the brickyard. And then again, the bodies. Again, normally we'd have around, you know, 70 downforce with our best body, but right now we're currently overhauling one of the bodies with one being built and we just simply cannot use it. I'm going to run body number seven into the ground because it still is our best body, but the car rating of 69, nice, uh, is what we got. And unfortunately, like I said with this track, you need horsepower. It's just that simple. You need horsepower and it does worry me that we won't have it. So I expect to qualify okay. But to be able to win, I think we're still far away from that. We have to finish in the top 10. And this is a track that is notoriously very easy to make mistakes because the walls on all four corners come up to you really quickly. So let's see what we can do. Lap one, 28. That is not good news. All right. Let's see what we can do in lap two. That is a perfect entry in a turn one. And hold it, hold it, hold it. All right. Didn't have to get off the throttle. In the two, I slid up completely missed turn two completely completely had to check up off the corner but we did nail turn one so now we gotta get three and four can we get we need top five Ooh. okay this is gonna be tough perfect three and four. Ooh. no eh, eh. okay maybe not perfect i actually went too low but it's okay i didn't really lose too much speed and that's a perfect turn four okay so other than making two well yeah two pretty mistakes two pretty big mistakes yeah 49 6 what 
How was I only... How was I only a tenth faster than what I ran on my first lap when I barely was carrying any speed? That's weird. I guess I made more mistakes than I thought. Or maybe that turn two mistake took out more time than I thought. But to be 26th is very surprising. And the car felt fine. And this is the horsepower thing I was talking about. I think the lack of horsepower is really hurting because the chassis is fine. It shouldn't be in 26th. And now I am genuinely worried because I don't know what's going to happen. And we really might actually have no income this race, guys, because we didn't get the income for qualifying. And, uh, well, it looks like we're not going to get the income for the race because we need a top 10 finish. Let's look at where Rusty Wallace is qualifying results. Rusty Wallace, the closer he is to us, he's 12th. So we're going to have to find a way to get up there. Oh, boy, this is going to suck. Welcome to MRN's live coverage from the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway for today's Brickyard 400. The Brickyard is a track with a lot of history, and it's seen plenty of great racing over the years, hasn't it, Barney? Indianapolis Motor Speedway, what a deep history this place has. I still get chills walking into this place. Speaking of history, there will be a lot of drivers fighting to get into victory lane for a chance to kiss the bricks after this one is all over today. The 83 car, who's currently in the top 10 in points, will try to reach that next step, the top five. Yeah, he needs to focus on this race. A poor finish can quickly bounce you out of the top 10, but a win can gain you several positions, might even put you in the top five. We'll see what happens. Ashton Lewis hasn't made much of a move in the point so far. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Brett Bodine has had some bad luck the last two races. I believe they got a good With all due respect, why are we talking right about Brett Bodine? I mean, he has a good sponsor in Hooters, but why, why are we talking about Brett Bodine? He end. never runs well. Oh, that's one. Let them ever be quiet. Whoa, whoa, there's a wreck. Well, let's see how they'll line up for the start. What the? <laughs> what the heck's going on here? There is a wreck on the pace lap. Tony Stewart, the next and we have a breakaway. Wrecking <laughs> on the pace lap. Okay, well, um, looks like the front 12 cars are, are, are fine. All right, here we go. This is going to be a true test of just pure adversity, fight, heart, grit, and uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to have a really poor car, it looks like, uh, as I'm trying to block Johnny Benson. It's going to be a poor car, and i got to be careful uh, not to hit the wall off the corners. That will ruin our race. So I'm going to have to be extra careful careful coming up off the corners, extra careful. Uh, ooh, there was some contact behind. It looks like Benson got into Kenseth, and uh, we just got to be careful. It's a, it's a tight racetrack. It's tough to pass, and uh, it looks like... I'm going to just have to pick my moments. And right now, this is not a moment to be trying to make a pass as they go double wide in front of us. Going to be patient. We're going to wait. And we're going to see where we can make our moves. I have a run. I'm going to try to force Waltrip up. There we go. I don't want, I don't technically want to go three wide, so I'm going to back out of this here. We're just going to get underneath Waltrip. Oh, hold on. Yep. Just underestimated how early I had a break there. Uh, still on the outside is Waltrip. Again, we cannot make contact or else we're going to get stuck, and I don't want to do that. And really, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> we're kind of just stuck. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get this bottom lane going. Can I get Kerpos to check up? Maybe force him up a lane? There we go. Now I can get it. No. Okay, we're going to well, we're gonna go three wide. Uh, I'm actually going to back out of that. Ooh, ooh. Don't run up, slide up. Okay. So I can probably go three wide down the straights as long as I just back out of it before we head into the corner. So that's that's fine. Uh, we are up into the top 20. Yep, yep, that was definitely rude on my part. Sorry. Side draft. Side draft. Side drafting. <laughs> it's not really working, but it's fine. Let's see if I could get under there. They can get into the corner pretty deep. And I'm tight. Sorry. Yep. That, to be fair, you saved me from actually doing something, you know, stupid. But hey, it, it is what it is. Yeah, the car is not good, guys. It's not good. I can already tell right now. I just simply can't make passes, um, which is surprising. 20th place, man. We have a 20th place car. That just feels wrong to me. We cannot make passes into turn one and turn three. If I can stay with them, then two and four is a lot easier because you're carrying so much less speed. But the car 
especially from center exit. I mean, it is just brutally tight, which uh, is a little bit surprising. That means it's not a horsepower thing, it's a chassis thing. And the chassis has been really good recently, so just odd. Um, maybe I could loosen the car up, but it is a little bit loose on entry, but I feel like I probably got to take that risk to loosen it up on entry in order to make the corners from uh, center off, because that's where we're going to make our passes. And if I'm too tight, we're not going to be able to make passes. So, like, right here, again, I just got to wait on the throttle. I can't really do anything because the car just slides up from center off. I'm going to try and maybe get around uh, Robbie Gordon here. But, again, we're just going to be gonna have to be careful on this entry. He's going to get us. So, back up the entry. And then we just got to wait on it. Just wait on it. Just wait on it. Just wait on it. And you can see we barely were able to stay side by side. But this is where we should be able to make pass. This turn four. We should be pretty strong here. And I could probably crowd him a little bit. There we go. I just got to get clear. A little bit of contact. We're fine. We move. Trying to make a pass on Kerp. Push. Yep. That was dirty. But you know what? As long as I don't wreck myself, I don't really care at this moment. <laughs> I've been racing pretty clean recently. Right now, this is going to be a race of just war. It's going to be a true race of attrition and battle. And we dive it in at turn one. Just try to get side by side. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to complete a pass. I'm just trying to get side by side. So that way, we can probably crowd Ricky Craven up off of turn two. I'm going to crowd him. Try to get him a little bit of contact. It's not going to give me damage, so we're fine. Crowd, crowd, crowd. Get him to check up and clear. Block that. In the 16th, we move. I am taking no prisoners. This is dirty racing, but guess what? I'm doing it. Three wide. Let's see if it works. Please give me the horsepower. Please give me the horsepower to clear. Give me the horsepower to clear. Yeah. No, 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 no. That was really unfortunate. Um, didn't really think I was going to get stuck. I wasn't even, I mean... I wasn't trying to clear McMurray. I was just trying to get the right arc into the corner, and then I just got stuck. That was weird. Uh, but not too much damage. Just some right side damage. And lost a few spots, but I'm expecting that. Luckily, we didn't get into the wall. That was actually got pretty lucky there. But now passing Jamie McMurray is going to be hell, as he's a minus 60 rival. And that means as soon as we get beside him, he's going to absolutely murder me. So can't wait for that. And now we have another problem. Lap 9, halfway on fuel. Why is that a problem? Well, if we could run 20 laps, you could make it on one stop. If you could run 9 laps, uh, or 18 laps, you cannot. And so it looks like this is going to be a two-stop race, but very possible a one-stop race for the rest of the field because our fuel efficiency sucks, which is why we're currently doing an R&D for fuel efficiency. But this looks like it's going to be a two-stop race for us, and I'm fully expecting everyone else to be on a one-stop race. And that is a problem. So we're going to need a caution uh, if we're going to want to do something special here. And we're, again, we're trying to finish in 10th, and right now we're way too far behind 10th. So <sighs> now how, how are we? Let, let's worry about fuel, fuel strategy later. How are we going to get around Jamie McMurray? <laughs> anyone want to help? I know you guys you know, can't help in current time, but... How in the heck are we gonna? Or we're supposed to do this? Just go three wide and try to keep them on the top top lane? Is that how this is going to work? Because I'm not really sure how we can get around Jamie Mack without getting absolutely destroyed. And I think I'm gonna have to use Matt Kenseth as a as a sacrifice here and probably die bomb right here. Use him as the buffer. Matt, stay with me. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you, Matt. That was perfect. That's exactly how we had to do it. I I had to get Jamie Mack away from me. And we did it. Woo! Okay, now we can focus. All right, now we see what we got. I'm in 14th. Clean track. We got four spots to go, guys. 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. Got to finish 10th. We got speed, man. We got speed. If we could just get in that clean track, we got the speed. We've run down Jeff Burton. But this is going to be a much tougher pass to make than the others. I'm going to go to the outside. Not trying to pass him on the outside. Just trying to get a good run. Back off. I actually wanted to get behind him. I, I didn't think I was going to be that far ahead of him, but okay. Uh, back off there. Get underneath, maybe. Now we're going to stay right behind. Okay. Um, go back. Maybe because of the draft of Rusty Wallace. Okay. Got to think about this. No, this is not a good time to pass him. Gotta stay behind him. Maybe help him a little bit. Push him, push him, push him. Break early. We wait. And wait. And wait. Just keep waiting. And I just need to get a little bit of a slipstream run. So I just need to get 
off turn four. Some decent amount of speed. I'm just going straight up the track. Okay. That was weird. Never mind. We try to catch back up. Do it again. By the way, we're not short pitting because I'm, I'm preparing that knowing we're going to have to pit twice. But on that second stop, it's probably going to be either right sides only or, you know, splash only. It's going to be something like that. So no, no short pitting this race. It's just the situation we're in with the fuel efficiency. And never mind, the leaders are pitting. So it looks like not everyone can go on one stop. Uh, I'm making the call. We're pitting. Okay, if they're pitting, I'm pitting. Where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? 70 miles per hour. Okay, I'm kind of ha I'm happy with the car honestly. So I don't I don't want to risk getting loose in because that's not going to be fun. So right now, don't know. Honestly, this is just going to be weird. Rusty Wallace is right in front of us. By the way, we have to beat him. So we're coming in with them. Hopefully our pit crew can keep us around those few car lengths that uh, behind. They haven't made a mistake recently, guys, which means I'm expecting one. I am expecting a mistake this race. In a race, we really don't need it because we don't have the speed. And that is, that it's not a mistake, but it's slow. Please don't have a mistake in a slow stop because that's even worse. It's slow. There goes Rusty Wallace on the top of the screen. 16.6. Not as slow as I thought. But we're going to be behind Wardburn. And you can see Rusty Wallace uh, is way ahead of us now. So, yeah. Uh, pit crew did not do a stellar job there. But it is what it is. We'll try to, you know, get that on track. And I think we do have the speed. With Rusty Wallace being around, you would say that looks like around four seconds, three seconds ahead. I think we can make that up. And most most importantly, we are still on the lead lap. So if a caution came out right now, we're fine. Ward Burton's looking pretty quick. We're actually catching uh, the guys in front of us. And I'm, I got to make this pass. I got to make this pass. I'm going to have to try to clear before we get to the entry. And you can see the horsepower. It's just not there. I just don't have it. And it's just really hindering us i knew i knew heading into this race we the, the lack of horsepower is just it's really gonna hurt uh we see if we can maybe get to the bottom there blown engine for ricky craven couldn't get to the bottom my only shot really is to get this slipstream and then just try to make contact entering the corner before we enter the corner and, and clear that way or maybe enter on the bottom nice and easy Okay, there we go. Never mind. I couldn't make clean passes. Clean passes exist. I should probably have more confidence in myself that I can actually drive it into turn one. If I hit my marks, I can make a pass. Uh, that is pass made on Ward Burton. We're in 14th. 13th is Jeff Burton, I think. 12th is Rusty Wallace. And then uh, the top 10 is not too far ahead. So this next pit stop is going to be really important. If uh, short pitting might be the call here on the next stop. Because um, I, I think eight laps on only right sides is not worth it. Um, maybe it will be. I don't think the tires wear too much. So that, that's going to be an important call. Because you could, you could do one can of fuel with right side tires, save about five seconds on pit road. Uh, but would oh, look at the speed difference behind, guys. Oh, my God. They just, how did they catch me by that much? That's ridiculous. Wow. I have no horsepower. Oh, people are pitting. People are pitting. Kenseth, Ward Burton, some guys in front of us. They are going to do... The ultimate short pit and essentially run the race backwards. We see this a lot with some cars. Not everyone does it. It's actually a very, it's a minority. Um, but some cars do do this where they just, they, they, I mean, whatever you can make it to the end, that's when they pit. I don't know if Kenseth would be in the lead lap though. And I don't think I would be on the lead lap. I think we would be lapped by the leader. And that's actually a lot of cars came down pit road. If you look at the top right of the screen, it's, it's a decent amount um, that are stopped on pit road right now. So that's interesting. And I don't think that's the play we're going to run since we just pitted like seven laps ago. But lap 28, 29 short pit is kind of where I'm looking at. And I'm still thinking about the right side tires. One can of fuel move. That would be around lap 32, 33. But I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, man, it's going to be a tough decision. It has taken forever, but here we are. Jeff Burton, next car up. And this is going to be a tough pass. Then Rusty Wallace is right there in front. And uh, as the laps go by, I am getting closer to wanting to do the two-tire stop. And the reason is the tire wear is just not significant enough. If we take four tires, I don't see us making up the five seconds we would uh, lose by taking four tires or, you know, the five seconds we gain by taking two tires. There's the move on Jeff Burton. It's a perfect entry, and it's a perfect pass. We're going to have to use that turn one is where we're going to make our passes. Rusty Wallace is up next. He looks like he's struggling. I don't know why he's running up there in the second lane. 
But this is a key move. We have to get around Rusty Wallace for our associate sponsor uh, requirement. And we got to beat him. So we're going to set this up for turn one next lap. Unless he wants to maybe let me go. He's just running a lane up. So, I mean, if, I, if he's going to leave the bottom open, I'll take it if he wants. Is he going to block? He's going to go down here. Oh! More tires won't help us. Be careful. Everything okay with the car? I don't really know what happened there. I'll be honest. I don't know what happened there. I thought he was trying to block, so I tried going back low, and I don't know if he moved down or if I wasn't low enough. I'm not entirely sure, but it cost us about a second and a half, so that's not ideal. And that pushes me farther to the two-tire stop. I want the time saved on pit road. Also because it's just so hard to pass. It is brutally difficult, and, uh, and I just I want the track position. I don't I don't want I don't want to have to deal with trying to pass guys. So. I think we are going to do the two-tire stop. I need to carry it kind of all the way to the end of the fuel cycle. Around lap 32 is when I can pit for the one can of fuel and then go. We should be able to make it to the end on that. All right, the good news is lap 32. We're coming in this time by. Box, box, loose. Box, box, box. I scraped the wall for no reason. As we're fine. I've scraped the wall like four times this race. It's okay. But we have caught Rusty Wallace and Jeff Burton, who right now I'm only racing Rusty Wallace. I'm not even really thinking about the top ten. I just want to beat him, and I think we will do that as long as we just come down pit road this time by and enact the two-tire stop strategy. We have not done this really the entire season. There have been times where I've thought about it, but a caution would come out, or it just didn't really make sense. Here, I think it makes sense because I just don't see the necessary um, improvement that we need in terms of the tires, uh, a fresh tire. So here we come down pit road. I'm going to be very aggressive down to 70 miles per hour that is literally as close as you can get that's as aggressive as that can be um, so it's going to be one can of fuel with right side tires it's going to save approximately five seconds on the pit stop now our whole goal here is just to get the track position beat rusty wallace and um and see where it puts us right now and a caution honestly i'd, I'd like a caution too that that'd be fine um well, let's see what I think I, we might have done this strategy once and they actually made a mistake on the two tire stop. So, and there it goes. I, why did I think I knew that was going to happen? There it goes. It's a see you later strategy. See ya. Look at that. F 14 seconds. There, there, off. Oh. Three and a half. No, four seconds. No, three and a half seconds of uh, time lost because of a one mistake and our pit crew has genuinely cost us uh, a, a, a possible top 10 result. I need to I, I just regroup. Just regroup. I'm, I'm going to almost break my monitor, but we're not going to do that. Uh, and that's just absolutely brutal. Uh, absolutely just unfortunate, brutal, sad. And um, well, now we have to survive the last eight laps with worn left side tires. And there's Ward Burton, someone we were racing with. Um, before the pit stop and we took two tires and we literally did not gain anything so that's just brutally sad and unfortunate and what's even worse is we've come out behind the leaders and now we're stuck i can't pass these guys so now i can't even take advantage of the right side tires this is what happens when you make mistakes on pit road this is exact i can't i cannot pass these guys i do not have the straight line speed they're blocking me as gordon wants to block this is this is incredibly sad I'm going to have to use my advantage in a turn one to try and get around Gordon. And we've done it. But now i got to get around Junior. Come on. Get around Junior. Nice and easy. The, right, the fresh right side tires feel nice. And get that done. Just losing so much time right now. And now we got to get around Tony Stewart. And we should be able to get this done. Oh. I think he's pitting. He is pitting. Okay, well, that's... I'm going to have to just wait. <laughs> yeah, because he wants to take, run that bottom line. So they'll come down pit road. We will then get fresh track. And then I don't know where. I think we're going to be in the same spot. I don't think we have, would have gained anything, which makes me depressed and hollow inside. Who was that? That's Jimmy Johnson. I saw a number two flash on the bottom of my screen. So we are well ahead of Rusty Wallace. That's the good news. So we did gain some time. But are we in the top ten? I don't think we are. Uh... We're in 20th right now, obviously. There's still a lot of guys that have to pit. I don't really know what the race situation is, but I'm still sad. I think these are the final people on pit road. We're currently 14th. And after, hold on, I got to make this pass. This is going to be risky. Okay, into 13th. So we're 13th. 
That's that's how it rounded up. That's very spread out. So it looks like the guys who did that ultimate short pit, who seem to be, they have to be falling back. They're on very old tires, but it's not going to be enough time. We would have gotten the top 10 if we had the, bet, the, the normal pit stop. It would have worked. The strategy would have worked. Three and a half seconds on pit road is an eternity on the racetrack. And uh, it would have put us in the top 10 right now. And honestly, I know I messed up three, turn three there, but Jimmy Johnson's on four fresh tires, and we haven't really lost much time to him. So the, the tire wear wasn't the factor there. Um, it was just getting the pit stop right, and it unfortunately did not happen, which is sad, but uh, it is what it is. We're going to be 13th. And, you know, we'll miss out on the on the race income bonus. We missed out on the qualifying bonus. At least I think we are beating Rusty Wallace. So, you know, I guess we'll take some, you know, I guess pride in that. Ooh, checker flag came at the right time because I was, I was sliding that last lap. The tire, the left side tires are gone. Completely gone. The left, left front is red. <sighs> That's sad. I take blame in it too because the qualifying lap. I should have qualified better. Uh, Sterling Marlin was only three seconds ahead. Again, three and a half seconds on pit road is not like three and a half seconds on the track. Three and a half seconds on pit road is like, I mean, we're talking about probably six seconds on track. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's bad. But I qualified poorly. Um, and, unfortunately, that put us back in the 26th. We got up to the top 15. And, uh, unfortunately, just never could crack that top 10. We had the speed to do it. But we needed things to go our way. And, and the, 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 the first slow stop. In addition with the second hugely horrible stop, uh, dug our grave, and that was it. That makes me, I really like this race, and I want to do better than that. That's sad. I mean, we still did get, how much, 2.21, it's not terrible, 2.21 to 2.73. I mean, so it's still a decent amount of money that's come in. Uh, how far behind were we, oh no, you don't get it? I don't, oh, I thought they actually give uh, the delta times in the stats, but you actually don't. Jimmy Johnson... I saw Jimmy Johnson. Wait, so Jimmy Johnson was 10th. We were... That's crazy. Yeah, we would have definitely gotten him. If... if uh, oh, well. 26 to 13. I'm not going to be... You know, that's that's fine. Up next is Watkins Glen. I've never, ever had a normal Watkins Glen race. Because 10%, it's too short. And then all the pit stops get crazy. So, with 25%, that's going to be a weird race. Because I've never had a normal race at the Glen. Ever. It's always been like there's a caution and then people pit or you don't have to pit. You can run the whole race without pitting. But this one, I would assume it's probably a one stop race. Um, and let's check the standings real quick because I think we have fallen out of the top six. Now we're still sixth, but we have fallen behind. Uh, not as much as I thought, though. So we're still in a decent position. Um, but let's go to the actual team management because we have a lot of things that actually got done. So garage news, new engine, chassis overhaul body overhaul engine overhaul so that's four things uh which is beautiful um still building a chassis and still building a uh body but the engine department is brand new 7671 i don't know if i want to run that at Watkins Glen. i don't think we need a lot of horsepower for that track it's mostly just about getting the chassis right uh and which we could use chassis number seven um so we'll see how it goes guys i will see you tomorrow take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you guys tomorrow i'll see you guys wednesday thursday no you're not gonna see me take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of the day follow me on twitter and description already hit the like button if you enjoy the channel comment down below thank you guys for all the support and peace out